Let's get to Decision 2008 and the political ads with some numbers that might surprise you. Barack Obama raking huge amounts of cash in. It's allowing him to spend almost $3 million in TV ads in this past week alone in Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Indiana. Hillary Clinton's campaign, which has been dogged by recent reports of financial problems, is hovering below the $1 million mark for the TV ad spending. That's only in Pennsylvania. With me now is Barbara Lippert, advertising critic for Ad Week. A very good morning to you. Thanks, Alan. Let's talk about the uh, the overall strategy here, because certainly Obama has the monetary advantage, no doubt. Do you do you spend all you can and go for the kill? Is that what you do? Well, I think he's doing it very well. You know, at the, he, he but he has the clear advantage. So when you're in, you have the advantage, it's much easier to be smart about it. On the one hand, he forces her to use all her money in Pennsylvania as much as she can because he's really narrowing mm -hmm, the margins mm -hmm. there. On the other hand, every dollar he forces her to spend there, she can spend on Indiana and North Carolina, where she really needs to have a presence also. And there are big gubernatorial elections there, and there's lots of advertising, so the more she's out of it, the less people will listen because it's getting too cluttered. Interesting. All right, let's take a look at her new, as we're calling it, a new 3 a.m. ad that Hillary Clinton released this past week, in which she attacks John McCain, so here's part of it, Barbara. John McCain just said the government shouldn't take any real action in the housing crisis. He'd let the phone keep ringing. Hillary Clinton has a plan to protect our homes, create jobs. Ah, uh, the old ringing phone call. What do you think of this 3 a.m. Well, she ad? seems to be using this 3 a.m. strategy for all-purpose crises. There's another one against Obama, and I think people are going to tune out. I think they're going to see the opening. It's 3 a.m. again, and they're going to say, oh, no, not that again, and they're not going to listen to the second half of it. Hmm. Uh, plus, I don't even think it's an effective point. Whomever is in the White House is going to answer the phone at 3 a.m., especially now. No one's going to let that phone go unanswered. So to keep <laughs> yeah, making that point. point that she's the only one up in a pantsuit, answering the phone at 3 a.m. is sort of out of Saturday Night Live. You know, it's just not going to happen. All right. When voters are bombarded, though, with so many political ads, I mean, you talked about states where there's big gubernatorial races as well, and it's just bombardment with political ads. Is there a risk that they get sick of them? And, and if so, what can the candidates do, if anything, to battle viewer fatigue? They do get sick of them. And after a while, especially if they're negative, you know, then they're so pounding. People just want to tune out. They mm. don't want to hear all of that negativity. And they're tired tired of them fighting. They're, and again, they're doing everything effectively. They're doing a lot of Leno and Letterman, which is free mm -hmm. media. They're doing a lot of little pranks like April Fools and bowling, you know, to, to, <laughs> and unfortunately, Hillary's going to have to come up with something to counter the income tax thing because she's going to have to raise a lot of money for TV and to say, I really need money and Obama's ahead of me and know that they've made $109 million, you know, people aren't going to send in their $10 and $5, which is what they do. It, is, is she then forced to, I guess, make more memorable ads if she can? Um, she is, and she's forced to come out with something new, you know, to, to put all of the attention on her in a positive way, which is very, very hard at this point. But can't that be risky? Well, it can be risky, but it's riskier just to, you know, keep pounding away at the same thing and be seen as tired and, you know, that, that his message is newer and fresher.